Let's talk now about the weather because, boy, firefighters, Been they, busy. they really had to be on alert today across the state. I'll say this. The fires that went up, they didn't last very long, like 10, 20, 30 minutes. I mean, but, uh, you know, some days one fire will run for hours, right? That did not happen today. Firefighters and a lot of these volunteers got on these fires quickly. They got them out. They put them out. We had some hot spots still left over. That shot is north of Seminole over in Seminole County, and uh, Val Castor, Amy Castor were there on that. But uh, it took off. By the time he got there, that's what was left. Uh, no uh, structures lost in that fire. But tomorrow, uh, less wind, higher humidity, so the fire danger tomorrow, not as high as today. And really, today was not crazy high. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest with you. It was, you know, it was low end overall. But anyway, we'll see how things can change quickly. So today, guests were about 40, and, and firefighters can manage a 40 mile per hour wind versus a 50 or 60. So that's not coming our way. All right, hey, we're talking about the cold front. That's coming our way. There it is. Now coming out of Kansas, out of Colorado. And you're thinking, it's not that cold behind it. Well, you're right. It's not Arctic air. It's not. It's a little bit of some Canadian air, but uh, we will be turning colder. It will be a shock to the system compared to what we had today, what we're going to have tomorrow, and then what moves in tomorrow night and into your, again, Saturday, all right? But, uh, hey, 43 in Denver, if it were in the teens up here, the single digits, you know what? We'd be like, oh, boy, oh, yeah, oh, okay, here we go. No, it's not. It's in the 40s and 50s and some 30s, so... That air mass, though, is coming into Oklahoma. Now, tonight's going to be breezy to windy overnight, gusts 25 to 30. You'll hear the wind from time to time. But the cool front, the cold front, is a little bit ahead of schedule for tomorrow. So we'll be windy in the morning, cloudy in the morning. The front will come into Oklahoma City between noon and about 2 o'clock. So we're going to be a little cooler tomorrow for the highs. And as the front moves closer to you, the wind will relax. It'll come down. But windy in the morning, and then eastern Oklahoma stays the windiest for the afternoon. Right now in Oklahoma City, 59 degrees. The south wind at 16. Downtown looks good. Part of our Lucky Star Skycam network. We had all that sunshine today. I think when you get up in the morning, we're cloudy. And then by mid to late morning, the clouds will start to move out. We have upper 50s and low 60s out there. Lots of upper 50s and low 60s on the map. Drier air in the panhandle, 40s there. So it's cool. It's breezy. It's a south wind. And look at these gusts, still here at 10 o'clock, or 10, 16, uh, gusts to 20 to 25. That wind will stay up like that all night long and even into tomorrow morning. So here we go. One more mild day, okay, and then tomorrow night, cold air moves in, highs Saturday, primarily in the 40s. But then by Sunday, we start out cold, but Sunday afternoon looks good. Next week's storm, still there. Hopefully, this will hold together, bring us some nice rain by the end of next week. We might be cold enough for a little bit of snow out in our panhandle with that upper low. It's taken forever to get here. All right, lows tonight, 50s, very mild, near record warm low temperatures. Okay, so that's big time. There's your cold front tonight coming into the northwest. Going to have a little fog around in the morning in northern Oklahoma a little bit. I think more clouds is going to be the big story and a little drizzle in the morning early on. I've dropped the high tomorrow from a 70 to a 68 because the front's a little bit ahead of schedule. Upper 50s in the northwest, a north wind behind that front. And late tomorrow afternoon and evening, showers in eastern Oklahoma. Might have a thunderstorm or two there. And then tomorrow night and Saturday morning, a little snow in the panhandle, a few showers in the southeast, and high Saturday in the 40s, upper 40s and windy. But it's not all bad. As a matter of fact, for this time of year, folks, that's all good. 50s, there's that chance of rain by Friday and Saturday of next week. I'm loving it. Bring it on. Hey, don't go anywhere. Chris, Chris, yeah, Chris has sports with the good hair. Coming up next.